Hello everyone, and today I'm here for a probably very interesting video where I get trolled, probably. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, I'm Big Gnome. I make the greatest videos ever. So, uh, five points. He had a series on his channel called Fixing Bad Fire Emblem Maps, and so one video I thought of making was making bad Fire Emblem Maps even worse, but I never got the chance to it. But I figured, hey, want to share the fun and make someone else play a bad map. God, that video the worst series is so. Of a bad map. That video series is so pretentious. I know when I release the SRPG video I'm working on, someone's not gonna like a level and be like, "Hey, didn't you make a series where you made fun of bad levels?" <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> that series was so pretentious. <laughs> All right, let's see. So I guess I'll hit new game now, and see what awaits. Uh, is there one of these I should pick? No, I, I just wanted to test out the difficulty feature, so I made one that's literally the same. Alright, awesome. Alright, let's save. And, oh, I accidentally skipped the dialogue. <laughs> Should I restart? Uh, did, did, did that say anything important? <laughs> uh, it said... It, it was it was backstory. It was that after or the end game of Azure Moon, now there's a new fret, and the only there's only three units alive. Uh, okay, yeah. And it's Ash, <laughs> <laughs> a renowned warrior in Arcanea who sold his soul to Evil. All right, awesome. Seems like there are not a lot of enemies on the map, though. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. And this was, yeah, there's some differences, like this wall is here now. And everyone has seven strength. Very interesting. I didn't feel like editing. <laughs> yeah, eventually this was going to be a two-way video where we made maps to troll each other, but mine got too elaborate, like there's going to be specific Wrath Vantage setups and like limited bow usage, so like you can overdo that, and it, it, it got too much, so I couldn't finish it in time, so now we're just doing this. <laughs> Okay. All right. So let's see. The warp staff. Seems like I don't got to do a lot of walking then. Seems like I don't got to do a lot of walking then. And I got game over. Awesome. <laughs> All right. So I guess use of the warp staff is prohibited. Okay. I'll actually. Oh. I hit X to exit out of the save screen, and then it just skips the dialogue. <laughs> Whatever. Guess I'll try walking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, okay then. Seems like only one person is allowed to move. Okay. 19 damage, okay. So I go up here, and there's no healing items. So. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, 50 hit again. Okay, dodge, so do I just gotta roll the dice until I get to Ashtram? <laughs> Is that, is, that the, is that the prank? It's one of the pranks. Oh, one of the pranks, okay. And she died, okay. And she's a game over condition. <laughs> so if I move either of these guys at all, no, okay. So I can move them down here. So what if I move them to the left a bit? Byleth and Dimitri. Okay, so I can move them over here. Or not, okay. Let's see. Nope, what? Hold on. So, is there, uh, maybe this is like a Zelda puzzle where like, something in the world will indicate a specific path I have to move, because in Phantom Hourglass, there's this ghost ship and there's a fog and you had to draw a path on your touch screen. It seems like these are all just four squares. Most curious. I I'm I did not think that much through. It's not a puzzle. They just can't move above. Okay. Alrighty then. And and to give you a hint, 
you, you saw at the beginning there's a save screen. It might exist for a reason. Oh, you can save at the start of every turn. Okay, okay, okay. You see, because the Zelda puzzle was something I was doing for my map, which is why I couldn't finish it in time. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, oh, you want me to troll you? Prepare to get trolled. <laughs> yeah, it didn't work out, though. Okay, so time to save scum, then. <laughs> Until I don't get hit. Hopefully you check to the box in SRPG Studio. That's the setting that makes it so... Um... That makes it so, like, uh... The RNG seat isn't set by save, and it just resets every time. Oh, I, I didn't know that box, but I, I have a solution. Okay. Because if the RNG is set every time, I might be dead. Because, <laughs> I mean, like, no, I mean, if... Because there's two options in SRPG Studio, because I've been working for it, if, with it for, like, more than a year at this point. You can set it so... It's like FE... Where it's like some games where the seed is created as soon as the mm. game starts and a new save is created or you can have it so it changes every time you reset the game so you can save scum and stuff mm. that's just an rpg studio setting okay so let's see if i get hit by this 50 percent on the turn she moves a couple more times i'm just gonna assume that that's the default setting so she dodged one hit, so she gets hit by one dodges one and then if she gets hit by this one Okay, yeah, so if that exact same thing happens again, I might just have to start a new game. <laughs> no, there's there's a way to burn our ends. Is that so? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I guess that's not it. Okay. It's staring you right in the face. Staring me right in the face. Okay, so what is in my face? It's the Warp Staff. The Warp Staff. Hades Omega. I'm oh. Mad. Okay. There we go. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Now let's see about that. Damn, still got hit. Okay. You're doing this the true way. You're not saving every turn. You just want to. Because if I get hit the first the turn, I'm experience. just gonna die when I fight Ashtram anyway. <laughs> so I'm waiting for the perfect run. Okay. So I hit that guy there. Boom, boom, boom. Hit that guy there. Boom, boom, boom. The meat tree. Interesting name. And now let's try going up. Dang, this strongest warrior in Arcanea got hands, Jesus. Whatever. Sure, it's fine. Sure, I'm sure it's fine. Okay, a dodge. And then let's save again. Go up here. And let's see about that. Nope. Okay. So, burning our ends works like that in three houses, but in SRPG Studio, I'm unsure if attacking this guy actually changes anything. I tested it. It should work. Just oh, okay. Okay. So, attack that guy. Then move up. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. So attacking that guy just sh does change things. I just got unlucky earlier. <laughs> All right. All right. This wasn't too long of a it's troll really map. Longer. All right. That <laughs> ended. What does he have? Nullify. Yeah, but specifically for Lysophia only. Damn, if only I went to the bottom right tie. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, whatever, just kill me. Now kill me. 
Ashram is so bad he can't even kill a little 20 year old frail little cancer patient. Oh my god! Even in a completely shit posty fan game, this dude can't kill anything. Oh my god! When I want him to kill me, he can't hit anything! Go ahead and try to hit me if you're able. <laughs> you know what? All the verses off the table. Uh, and, and I'm stronger than you. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Did you make it so he just fucking misses if you attack him once? <laughs> yeah, he did not plan this. Fine, I guess I'll just walk back then. <laughs> oh, and then as soon as I start moving, he kills me again. <laughs> awesome. It would be so awesome. It would be so cool. It would be the most incredible superhero movie the world has ever seen. Yeah, oh my god. Oh, I thought this was like a wall, this blue crap. Whatever. Okay. I hear you're fighting Ashram, let me join you. Huh? Ashram's weakness is weak thieves, and I'm the weakest thief of them all, let me handle him. Okay, now we have South with... Oh, okay. So I'll use my warp staff. Okay. The warp staff? Alright. And get him up there, like the little fella. Alright, and he only has 30 hit rate, awesome. Oh, he's trying though, he'll, he's trying. Me defeated by humans, me humans, take this to heart, neurodivergent marriage girl <laughs> One day, as long as weakness dwells in the heart of humans, our eyes do never forget. As long as there is light in the darkness, I can never be extinguished. Alright, you finished the greatest map in all the Fire Emblem. Alright, do you want to see what my map was going to be before I didn't finish it? Would you, what would you rather play, this or the original? This, because I can beat it in under two hours. <laughs> yeah, because... Yeah, I, I, I got so deep into mind planning. I know, maybe maybe we can do that in the future. Maybe one day I'll finish my troll map and then you will be trolled epically. <laughs> we shall see, we shall see. Alright, so that's it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. I, I got trolled, I guess. See you later. Bye.